Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. I just received an order from Humble Lamb. This is history, his story, history, his story. <laughs> it's spelled the same. And uh, so this is the, the their new NESB, little personal size Bible. And they have sent me one for review. And I ordered it in orange because Tennessee, go big orange. Not that they do, <laughs> but that's a different story. Let's see. Let's close my knife before I get yelled at. So here is history. I've never seen this in person, of course, so I don't really know a lot about it other than it is an interesting design. So hand size. Orange box. Oh, that's a thick box. I love that. Fox orange. History. His story. That is nice. I like that. They've gone all out on these boxes. That looks really nice. Elegant. Good sturdy box. I appreciate a good sturdy box. I always have. And then our standard wrapping. Good thick paper. Let's see. Three ribbons. That's a good orange too. I like that. If I can get my fingers on here. Might have to have help from my wife over here. Who's watching me and laughing at me because I can't open this. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. I'm going to have to actually tear the paper, which I don't like to do, but I will anyway. It's a little bit tight there, but that's alright. I don't use those anyway. So, the Word of God. I like that they call it that. That's interesting. So let's get this out of the way. Now, I will be doing a full review of this because I like to spend time with them first. So it'll be a little while before I get to the review, but it looks good. I like their designs here. They, they place all the information on the inside cover. It's goatskin leather. Green looks good. Looks really good. And this is the four edge. So you'll see the four edge art. And then here is the text, Gustave Doré artwork inside and then single column reference edition and the drop caps go with the section headings I found that interesting so this is a good hand sized Bible reminds me of the New King James editions from Thomas Nelson kind of a cross between the regular size and the uh, compact size papers easy to easy to read not a lot of show through show through is more noticeable in the um, where the where we see the images now this one they, they've added the images to the page but then they've added the scripture text to the page also I like that interesting book introduction page there so what other tools we've got back here maps Edgeland with first print edition. I like that. Meriton goatskin. Individually handcrafted. Let's see where it was made. And it does have a presentation page. Really thick end sheets. That does give it structure. I'm not sure the GSM on this paper. If I were guessing, I'd call it 36. But that's just a guess. Printed in handbound in China. Using 8.5 point Milo. That's interesting. It looks a little larger than that. Yeah, I guess that's about right. So that's a quick look at the Humble Lamb history. I'll be doing a full review of this one once I use it a little bit. So stay tuned for the review. They've got little designs inside the drop caps. It's, it's interesting. I wonder if that color changes. A little bit of color in those. Yeah, the colors change. So it was green, there was gold, a little bit of color in those. So I'll spend some time with this and I'll come back with a full review. Thanks for watching.